Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Mash Saeed McQueen. Last episode has got to be one of the most entertaining episodes. So fucking packed with good content. First, what was it? Sa Sabro and Azaz doing a little bit of like Goku and Vegeta style of fighting the enemy where they don't even care about the enemy. They're just competing against each other to see who can fight the enemy. But then we get a little cocky and who has to save Azaz? It's Sabro. And not only does he save him in such a cool fucking way where everyone thought Azaz was really just burnt up. What does Sabro say? Why did I do this? Just to look cool. No, I'm, I, he did say that, but part after. I, the way that he made Azaz think about what his true ambitions are, about how he shouldn't just rush in and that we should retreat, I really thought that Sabro would not be the type of person to be able to think like that because I just assumed that he's just a lughead. All, brain, all muscle, no brain. So wrong. I'm so wrong. In fact, if you've been looking at him in the previous episodes, he's been really the, he's been really studying. Not in just terms of like the Demon King, like uh, different clubs that he was in. He was like a different play. He's like a really smart person in academics too. But also in like the beginning episodes where we are at the Guardian and Iruma saved Sabro by rather than fighting the Guardian Beast, we healed him. And Sabro realized at that point, maybe if there's different ways to you know approach things. Maybe we don't have to confront all the time. Maybe there's an alternative path. And he's really learned from that time. Sabro, fantastic character. As as it kind of seems like he took a lot of L's and he seemed the more immature one at the end, but I'm sure we'll get his development later on. And then Balam summoning no jutsu. So I was really I I'm, I have a I had a misunderstanding of family bloodline uh, techniques to always be a part of someone's like combat, right? Just because some people do it doesn't mean that everyone else has to do it. Balam, we don't. Balam, Balam's like family, like um, bloodline ability is to detect the truth, but he doesn't really use that in battle. In fact, he uses just his science, his biology to summon things, and it fights for him. So amazing there. And on the topic of like opera, apparently opera doesn't have a bloodline ability that's been mentioned in the manga just yet. This is just opera just doing kicks and punches. So again, bloodline ability isn't necessary for fighting, although it can help. I shouldn't fixate on just that. Badam saved us, Opera and Amity, and then comes in and saves us again. Kaleko gets summoned in as Eggy Sensei, the three Sensei attack on the beast. And then, at the very end, when we thought everything was safe, no, 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 no. Guess who fucking saves the day when there's about to be a self-destruction? Lo, 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 Like, this idiot, this beautiful idiot is the one that's gonna save the day. And I thought to myself, how is he gonna do this all right? He's facing in a specific direction, so if we can change the, you know, the angle, then we can save everybody. This is a brilliant writing. I, I could never have imagined Ronove to save everyone at the end. It's like, oh my god. But we're not just there yet, right? Even though he did shift to the direction, Iruma now has to go in. Now, what's he gonna do? It's, I think it's pretty obvious. They said that it's a big, you know, bomb of mana. What do we have? The gluttonous feeder ring. Maybe Ali can just absorb the mana and we can just suck it up and that's it? I don't know. Let's see today's episode. Here we go. So it's gotta be Ali just sucking up all the mana. Maybe we should go pound the ruler, man. Okay. Ali, what are you gonna do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you do this? Yes. Can't you? You don't tell me you can't do this. Ronove should be hearing this. Ronove should... No, you can see Ali though, right? There's, there's no time for arguments. Dude. We're about to die. Yeah. I mean, I would imagine Sullivan's mana to be even greater than this. Okay. But... His strength? How? Huh? Oh, Kamehameha. <laughs> what the? <laughs> this is the Kamehameha. <laughs> uh, okay. Ronobe is witnessing this in the front row. Okay, everybody's witnessing it. But they're too far away to actually see Ali, I'm sure. Okay. Wait. It's got like little paws now. It's so cute. Because Idema, right? That's why. That's why it's so cute. <laughs> a giant cat thing appeared out of nowhere and just gulped him up. God damn it, why is it so cute? It's because of Idema. Is it enough though? Can you really absorb this? I mean, it looks like it exploded a little bit inside, but I'm sure it's fine. 
What is the effect of all this mana though for Ali? Is it gonna affect him? Make him change? I don't know. But we have a shitload of mana just in our ring now. Gonna take. We don't need to like get a recharge and solve him for any time. But I wonder how else this is gonna affect us. Did you guys even know in the theater like they were in danger? They even know that they were in like the line of fire. Oh, also, Kuruma just always seems to appear when you're not here, Kerobi. What's up with that? I want Kaligo to acknowledge Yuruma now. He's probably gonna scold him. He's probably gonna scold him. I told you to care about yourself! Oh. Those were his words. For the sake of my friends, and as the role of the main character, I have to Kaligo. Come on, that compliments me. I know for a fact Kaligo is proud. Even though he might be all so hard ass right now, no, he's gotta be so proud of him. Your ideals? That's my desire. Edom, I'm just gonna like this answer. Ooh, because she talks in terms of, you know, ideals, ambition, desire. <laughs> yeah, but look at you. You're so cute right now. What are you gonna do that? You're gonna punish us? <laughs> I guess I'm gonna say so cute, but being so harsh at the same time. What is opera thing? What is the silence there? I wanna know what's going on in that head. Oh, He's talking to Solomon in his mind. Huh? This is the 16th verse. Kiryu! Are there. Was there a main goal to escape with Kiryu? It wasn't. Huh. Maybe they don't need to fight. They can just. They can just go. Whoa. Sama? What? He's that high up? I mean, he is in contact with Bal, but their mission was to save him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. Thunderlord Bal to save Kiryu. Bal is kind of a homie if you think about it, huh? He, even though Kiryu got imprisoned, Bal really failed him out. He didn't forget about him. He didn't be like, act like. Kiryu, you know what? You can just take all the all the smoke, and I'm just gonna it's like uh, go away silently. Like he actually got his little bro out. It was prison break for me. Yeah, he is different. He does exude that kind of leader. Yeah, he does have that aura around him, especially when he flicks his hair out. <laughs> it's the funniest part when he slicks just the one part of his hair out. And then it's like an evil, cool mode. Okay, we're back to... Wait, is Walter Park rebuilt already? Wait, I thought this place was destroyed. Or are we just in a section where it's not destroyed? Ronobe's dad. It's just Ronobe with the mustache. It's... It's Ronobe with the mustache! Alright, whatever. Giriwo! What? You wanna go say hi? Oh, he's just surprised that Inuma was here. Yeah, he was the one that stopped them. Your fates are entwined. That means... It's fate! It is fate! You guys are... I mean, no, it's the writing. It's the author setting you guys up like that. But yes, it is fate! Yeah? My rival? My what? I'll have to stop. Yes, big bro, we're out. My what? I wanted to know. Oh, Shida. No, Shida. He really values Kiriwo. I respect that. He bailed him out, though. Like I said before, he didn't just ditch Kiriwo's, you know, make him take all the... Like, he took all the heat in the previous arc when he... Exactly, during the fireworks scene, right? Mortal enemies... This cute little boy is your mortal enemy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shida, no! How could you do this, Shida? No! And Iruma still didn't realize. Like, when... It... Man, in the future, when Iruma meets Shida again, she's gonna be like, Wait, you're that girl from the Walter Park! I wonder if you'd remember. You probably would. <laughs> Bottom and Calico's 
Impersonating you, it's the funniest thing though. Whenever they impersonate Kaligo, like the moment in uh, when it was a uh, evil cycle, Iruma, when they all got the signature and left, they said Shikuni before Kaligo could. That was so funny. Come on, Kaligo. Yeah, it's your loving, doting students. What the soon today? Oh, what's up, Elizabeth? Oh, they're getting like decked out with all the fancy dresses they could have. It's probably gonna be some kind of dinner party. The buffet. Ooh. Flowing chocolate. God damn. This is making me so hungry. <laughs> Shit. Kaligo, make sure to eat everything. <laughs> Don't forget to eat your veggies, Kaligo. Did he just finish everything? Claire, that's not supposed to. She's become one with the running chocolate. Oh. Ameri and Iruma see. Okay. Oh, this is the moment where the two love interests might meet at the top of the rooftop at a party. You know, this happens a lot. Yes, just like in the movies. Make your move. Yeah. Make your move. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is your moment. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> Breathe. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Thank you, Ronome. That's a goddamn. These dresses look so good on her. Again, anything looks good on her, though. It's a Samedi. <gasps> KO'd. Is she. Is she gonna. Confess? To Iruma? Because she's already declared her love I mean, to him. Like, she, she's already... Okay, wait, wait. Ideals and ambitions. But at least you're working towards something. You need to get stronger. Hmm. To keep having fun with friends, to protect that ideal, you need an actionable item, right? Our little Iruma's grown up so much. But what is Amiri's ambition? Because she said her ambition is her love for Iruma, right? In the dainty Amiri arc. Yo, is it happening? Wait, wait, which okay, your ideal? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. What did that look? What is it? Yeah, let's go. Where? Vacation? Just the two of you? Yo, I'm down to have one episode for just the two of them. Look at the moon contrast in the background, the big moon and the small moon. So tight. No, not that. <laughs> we, we got the question out the door, but I wanted, you know, I wanted to say something like, I love, and then Clara comes in busting in. Oh, oh. just he's saying it in front of Clara and Asnaz. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to say that in front of them! <laughs> and you asked! And that seems to be the end of the Walter Park arc. I think one of the most enjoyable arcs. And something that I thought was just gonna be a joke, just casual slice of life arc. No, it was serious. It was serious. We got back to, you know, our old enemies, Kiriwo and Bal. And at the end there, with Amity. Oh, that ship is just sailed. It's done. I've given up on Clara. I love Clara, but she's not the main love interest. Clara is to be protected, but Amity and Yuruma, it's just perfect. It's so good. At that that imagery behind them when like when Amity asked Yuruma, do you want to go somewhere just the two of us? And there was the big pink moon and there was the small blue moon. It's just so good. It's so good. And 
We did say yes. You did say yes. Now, maybe on this little honeymoon vacation, Mamadi might make a move and actually say the line, but it's too soon. I, I feel like you gotta hold on to that. You can't just immediately come out and say, I love you. It's, it's, as much as I want that to happen, we still need to delay it. We can't just like drop it for the sake of the content to keep going, I guess. Or I guess they could have an established relationship and the episodes could continue, but having something there, you know, just like that tension between them of not completely together, but it's pretty much there. I love it so much, but hey, if you stick around this song and if you enjoyed my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and plays to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to log on push my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.